One of the many blessings of serving as vocation director in our diocese is very truly the privilege of assisting young women who are being called to consecrated life. My visits to the universities and also to the high schools, I find there are many young women who are trying to lead very good and holy lives and are very open to the call of God. For this reason, we have something happening later this month in November. The Sisters of Life, an order founded by Cardinal O'Connor in New York 20 years ago this year, are offering a discernment day, basically a day when they will share their vocation stories and talk about what it means to live consecrated life with gratitude and joy. The day will take place at the Sisters, one of their places that's on the Danforth in Toronto, and presently transportation is being arranged for a number of young women who are planning on attending. The day will unfold basically as the sisters talk about their own vocations. On a very personal note, I have profound respect for the sisters of life. I think anyone that comes into contact with them sees their incredible spirit of joy. They are rooted in the Eucharist in adoration. They have a lovely and very beautiful prayer life but also they reveal the joy of community, of living together as women consecrated and having given themselves completely to the Lord. And so to young women throughout the diocese, I really cannot encourage you enough to plan to attend this day. Transportation will be arranged for all of you wherever you are in the diocese. We, the day will begin with the sisters about 9 o'clock in Toronto and we'll conclude after dinner about 7.30 in the evening. It will be a full day, but I can promise you, having taken seven young women last year for a day with the sisters, it will be an absolutely amazing day. I can assure you that the sisters will open their hearts, they will share from their hearts, and we will really be touched by the beauty of consecrated life. So I invite any young women who are open to God's call to please contact the vocation office and plan to attend this day together. It will be a great joy to travel together, in some ways to go on pilgrimage for the day, and to really see what the church has in mind, to really see consecrated life as it is called to be lived out.